welcome back this is Naresh so till now we have seen certain operations in JMeter and today we will see how to test our database while using JMeter all right so if I open JMeter you will see there is no project right now but now we will create a project to connect with the database so the prerequisite for that you should have a database on your computer so what you can do you can uh, just go to Google and there you can just go Google and just type my SQL database all right and uh, once you are on this link just click on this my SQL downloads all right and this is the link through which you can download our my SQL and here if you see there is a community edition which is free okay so you don't have to pay for this just click on that and uh, in the left hand side it will give you from where resources where you can download it just click on MySQL on Windows all right and under Windows there are three links we need to take care of one is MySQL installer one is MySQL connectors and one is MySQL workbench okay so basically this is the MySQL server with a client which is on the command prompt so you can download this so that it can install the MySQL server for you this is the jar file which we need and this is the MySQL client which is has a GUI okay so once you install that it will uh, once you install this client it will ask you that the default port number and it will ask you for the ID and password of your database so you just have to note that down so what I have did I have just noted down the ID and password uh, the root is the ID and root is the password which is by default for the database okay so I have just noted down while installing it so I've already done that so I'm not doing it again I've already done that once okay so this is the way you can do that and once you will open this MySQL workbench so this is the window which get open let me just close it and open again okay so once these three things are installed what you need to do you have to open MySQL workbench okay so you can just wherever it is installed you can just click on MySQL and it will show you the link okay like this you just have to click on this link and it will open the MySQL for you and the jar file which you have downloaded through MySQL connector those jar file you have to place somewhere and uh, what you can do for those jar file you can just go to the place where you have put your JMeter so let me do a right click and uh, let me go to the place where my JMeter is so I will click on open file location from here and it will open the JMeter so I'm using JMeter 5.0 in that you have to go to this folder Apache JMeter so you have to go to the lib folder you don't have to go to the bin folder because from bin folder we are starting the JMeter.bat file we have to go to the lib folder and in lib folder here you have to copy all the jars which is downloaded through that link okay so let me show you the jar file also so I have already installed it once uh, okay 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 wait Selenium standalone server yeah so this is a folder MySQL connector Java so this is a jar file which get downloaded one is this jar file and one is inside the lib jar file so you copy these all these jar file and you can go to the place where your JMeter is and here you can go to here Apache JMeter go to lib folder and just paste everything here okay once you have given all your jar files into the lib folder what you can do uh, you can see our MySQL workbench is open and this is the database uh, which is on MySQL workbench I'm just clicking on this all right so it will open this database for me now you have to start your JMeter make it sure once you copy the jar file you have to restart your JMeter if that is already open if it is not already open you can just start your JMeter and that will take care of the jar file which you have added so this is a blank project and if you see this database is also open and if you see there are three tables given here under the world database okay there are many databases given but there is a world database and in that there's a table there are three tables given if one want to see what is given in my city table so I can you know just give select star from the city and I can give you know like uh, this if I just want to make it simple I will give just select star from the city and I will run it okay so it will run it and it will give me all the rows and if I want to just you know want a particular uh, 
like want to see a particular report i want to see with the name of kabul i want to see the row where city name is kabul so i will give this sql select star from city where name equal to kabul and then i will run it again okay so it will give me one row now let's see how to use it in our jmeter so in jmeter what we need to do first we need to do a right click okay and then we have to first use a thread group so we know by default it give me one user now again we need to do a right click on this test plan and then if you see there's a config element and in that we have to choose jdbc connection configuration okay so we have to give our connection configuration here all right so here you can see this there is a database url which we need to give so i have already noted down the database url this is the url for my database that would be jdbc colon then my sql colon and then whatever you know because by default when you install the jdbc on your computer it will be installed on the local host that is your computer at the port 3306 so that is the default one so when you are installing the mysql you have to note it down that what is the port number it is giving you most of the time 99 percent it is 3306 but you can just look into that when you're installing it okay so i am just copying this up to here up to my database name i'm not copying the id and password so i'm doing a control c and i'm pasting it in my database url okay now here i need to give my username and password all right so what i can do i can just copy this root and i'll paste in username and password and here i need to give the driver of the jdbc that so this is the driver of the jdbc which is com.mysql.cj.jdbc driver sometimes there's no no dot cj you don't you just have to write com.mysql.jdbc for driver but as i find out that this is the correct class which i need to give so i'm giving this one okay so just try that first before you remove the cj so now everything is given for this uh, jdbc connection what i need to give now i can do a right click on third group and then i can go to sampler okay so in sampler uh, i don't have to go go to this i don't have to give the http request i have to give the jdbc request so let's see here's the jdbc request and this is the jdbc request and this is a select statement which i want to use so i want to use the same query which i have used before so what i will do i can just copy this all right and i will paste it here all right so everything is done now and i, I just need to look the results where my results are so i will just go ahead okay so if you see jdbc connection is at the bottom let me just take it to at the top to have a more clarity because now this jdbc connection you know uh, like i have given at the test plan level so that's mean i need if you know i need to use this then i can use this for any of the test group i can create a different test group also till, but till now i have just created one thread group okay all right so now next i need to do a right click and i need to add let's add a listener here okay view result tree and add one more listener here okay which is view result in table all right so this will give me that if my this thing is working fine or not let's try to run it you should save the test plan okay let me save it and i will give it my thread group jdbc okay so this has been added and now let's run it scene table It has not run let me just check uh, all right so let's see there's an error here which is given let me click on this and let's see what is the error okay it says the variable name must be empty uh, for element okay so it seems that we have not given a variable name here so if you go to the jdbc connection here you will see that it says a variable name bound to pool so i need to give some variable name here so i can give test variable name here okay and if i go to jdbc request here also it same seem uh, says that variable name of pool declared in jdbc so i will call it as test so it's mean that in order to connect sorry in order to connect this connection configuration with this request i need to give some name here so that's mean there can be a multiple connection also and it depends upon my requirement that which configuration i want to connect with the jdbc request all right so what we will do now we will try to run it again so let's run okay so it seems that now it's working fine and i am getting the results 
okay so if you see the response data also i'm getting the response because i have increased the thread group to five so i'm getting a multiple response here okay so this is the way we make a connection with the jdbc now let's assume that i want to assert something okay so what i will do for the assertion purpose i can do a right click here on thread group add and i can go to assertion and here i can click on response assertion all right so assume that what i need to assert here assume i need to assert the country okay that is afg all right so in the response assertion i can go here main samples text response and then contains and i can give here so whatever i have got i can give a response as a afg okay so i will give here afg all right and now i will try to run it again let's see okay so let me remove from the previous one all the results so there's no result now let me run it again all right so it is running fine and i am getting afg here if in case i give something else afk all right and now let's try to run it again all right so it's failing now and if you go here it will show you afg and if i go response assertion it says that it has not found the afk all right so this is the way we can do an assertion of jdbc but right now we are just giving the string afk let's say instead of that what i want to know that you know my this is coming at a particular statement that response which i am getting the afg i am getting it on the first row in the third column so how would i do that so i need to give some advanced assertion so how would i do that first let me correct this uh, make it as afg only okay and for the advanced assertion what i can do in the jdbc request uh, okay for the advanced assertion i can just go to jdbc request and in that request let me close this logs okay there is a row which is called variable name so i need to give a different variable name where what i am receiving so if you see here the results let me just uh, run it one more time okay so if you see here in the results in the response data i am getting all these results right and this is my column one column two column three four five and six so there are totally six columns if i want to assert the third column i just need to go here in jdbc request and i can give a variable name as comma comma and then column three okay so i want to assert column three and in the response assertion what i can do here i can give here column three underscore the row number so it is on the first row okay so i want to assert the first row with afg all right so let me just go ahead and clear this and run it again okay so see everything is opening fine right now let's assume that uh, i am giving on the second row okay and now let's try to run it okay you can see everything is failing here and if i go here and if i go to response assertion it says that response was null so it was not able to find it and it has given our null value so this is the way we can go ahead and assert some particular column and row in our database connection all right so this is all for the jdbc connection if you like the video please hit on the like button and thank you for watching